Well, good evening and welcome back to Rainbow Investing, where we examine a spectrum of ideas to build long-term wealth. Thank you so much for joining us. Tonight, we are going to look at how to build a live updating dividend portfolio using only Microsoft Excel. Many people don't know this, but Microsoft Excel now has extensive stock features that are really useful if you want to build and keep track of a portfolio using Excel. So we're going to talk about exactly how to build an Excel stock portfolio specifically for dividend shares. Now, if you haven't already watched my video on how to just use the Excel features for stocks in general, I've got two videos that you can go ahead and watch. They're both very popular and they have lots of information about how to use the general stock features of Excel. But today we're just going to look at dividends because dividend investing is very specific with its own set of unique requirements and metrics and all that stuff. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how exactly to build a dividend portfolio in Excel, just like the one you see on the screen. So before we get started, let me just explain the outlay of this particular Excel spreadsheet that I've created. So in this column, we obviously have dividend stock. This column, we have its ticker symbol, its stock price, the shares owned. I've just, comp I've just chosen a completely random number just to make things easy. The value of that position, so if we own 20 Apple shares and the stock price is $131.46, then our position will be $2,629.20. This is the quarterly dividend, so the amount the company pays out every three months. This is the annual dividend, the dividend that the company will pay every year, looking forward. And this is the expected payout that we can get from this position and of course the dividend yield. And I've also put in the dividend growth streak. So just for a bit of context, I've if a stock is a dividend king, I've made it gold and a dividend aristocrat, I've made silver. And these are metrics that I always like to look at with my dividend shares, just to get a gauge on the kind of quality dividend share a particular company might be. Just before we go any further, guys, if you're finding this video useful so far, please make sure to leave a like on it. It really helps my small channel out and it's all I ask in return for making these videos. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. It'd be really fantastic just to have you on board. So if you haven't already, please click that big red subscribe button just below the video. But let's continue. So as you can see, I've selected seven popular dividend stocks that we're going to look at. Apple, Microsoft, Coca-Cola, Altria, PepsiCo, 3M and AT&T. So to get started, I'm just going to delete this row and we'll start from the top with Apple. Okay, so Microsoft Excel has a stock feature which I will demonstrate right now. All you need to do is type in the stocks ticker code and then go to this tab that says data. On the data tab, you'll see a panel that says stocks. If you select that, it will automatically pull the stock in question. So here we have Apple and you know it's there because of that little house button. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is automatically fill out the other squares where I can. So we have ticker code, so we'll go down to ticker symbol, Apple, stock price, price. Shares own, now this is entirely hypothetical, so I'm just going to say 10. Now for the value, what we're going to do is put in a simple formula. So to start a formula, you press equals. We're going to select this square, which is the amount of shares we own, 10 times, which is the star, the stock price. And that will give us the value of our position in Apple, hypothetically, of course. Might bump that up a little bit just because Apple's the biggest company in the world. Okay, now we get to the interesting part. So Microsoft Excel actually doesn't have any dividend data on it, which is extremely annoying. So what we're going to do is go to Seeking Alpha and just pull it from there. Now, if you're thinking, oh, but you said it was a live updating portfolio, bear with me. We will still make it a live updating portfolio, but we just need this information first. Okay, so according to Seeking Alpha, Apple pays a quarterly dividend of 22 cents a share. So if we'll go back to this Excel and just put in 0.22 and that's automatically converted into a dollar. Okay, now using an annual forward dividend, we can probably assume that it's going to be 88 cents because four times a quarter is a year. So let's just double check that. Yep, 88 cents there. Okay, so what else do we need? Expected annual payout. So this is the metric I put for the amount of dividends you can expect from your own shares. So what we're going to do here is put in 
we own 20 Apple shares. So we're going to have this square times the annual dividend. So with Apple, we can expect to receive $17.60 from the $2,629.20 of Apple stock that we own. Now, here's where it gets interesting, the dividend yield. So what a dividend yield is, is simply the amount of cash you receive as a percentage of the position you own. And that gives us the dividend yield that we all quote all the time. So how you work this out, we're gonna select this amount, which is our annual dividends received, and we're going to divide it by the size of our portfolio. And that will give us a yield. And here we go, it's 0.67%. So as you can see, that's a very easy way to calculate the dividend yield in Microsoft Excel. Now, the beauty of using this method is that it adapts on the price. So if Apple shares rise to say $200, our dividend yield will automatically fall. Now these Microsoft Excel data tabs automatically update. All you have to do is press refresh and it'll pull the latest stock price. So in this way, the dividend yields will always be accurate. Now you will have to update the quarterly dividend numbers when they change and the annual dividend numbers when they change, but they only change every three months. So for three months, this Excel dividend portfolio will automatically update the dividend yield you can expect from your shares. And Seeking Alpha also has the growth streak in its dividend summary card. So for Apple, we can see it's eight here. So I'm just gonna put eight here. And because it's not a dividend aristocrat or a dividend king, I've just left it blank. Okay, so now you know that, let's have a look at some other things we can do. Okay, so to get a total portfolio size, all I'm going to do is use an auto sum function there. So we can see we have in total $15,221 invested in stocks. Now, in order to work out the yield of this particular portfolio, it, this is going to be quite an interesting exercise. So you can work out what kind of yield your portfolio is getting you overall. So to work this out, what we're going to do is add up this expected annual payout using the same function, which is $500. What we're gonna do now is put, gonna put an equal sign, the formula sign, take this cell, the total expected annual payout of our entire portfolio, and divide it, which is slash, by the total value of our portfolio. Now that is going to be a percentage, so let's change it to percent, and we'll make it a bit more accurate. So there, there you go, with these stocks, the, the total yield of the portfolio will be 3.28%. Now I'm just gonna tidy this up a bit. I'm gonna move this down here. Annual expected yield. Make that a capital, nice and neat. We'll make it green as well. Okay, so we're gonna have equals the sum of H3 to H9, okay, $500. And we're just gonna use the different values here. So equals 500 divided by them. There we go. So as you can see, I've just gone to Seeking Alpha and pulled all this information. But the reality is that, that the portfolio will automatically update over time and it actually requires very little ongoing maintenance. Let's just add a new stock just for fun. So let's go Johnson & Johnson, just because they've been in the news for obvious reasons recently. There we go, Johnson & Johnson, ticker code J&J, &J, stock price, $162. Let's own 10 shares of that as well. Then we get the value. See, I've automatically put the formula, so it's just this times this in this cell. Okay, let's go to Seeking Alpha and have a look at J&J's quarterly dividend. Dividends, dividend history. So we can see Johnson & Johnson's divid quarterly dividend is $1.06. $1.06. The annual dividend will be Four dollars and twenty-four cents. Twenty-four. Again, same formula. So the amount of shares we have, ten times the annual payout, four dollars twenty-four, will give us forty-two dollars forty. The dividend yield will be the annual dividend divided by the stock price, which will give us a yield of two point six one percent. And just to round it all off, 
Johnson & Johnson has a 58-year streak of dividend growth. Very impressive. So we're going to, yep, and we'll leave that gold because it's a dividend king. So there you go. Our portfolio has automatically updated with that new information. It's now worth 16%. Our dividend yield has decreased a little bit, if I remember correctly, because Johnson & Johnson has a fairly low dividend yield compared to some of the others like Altria and AT&T. So there you go, guys. That's the very basics of how to build a simple, easy, live updating dividend portfolio in Microsoft Excel. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll be back with some more videos soon, but for now, good night.